Hi there, and uh, welcome to MS-DOS Game Reviews, where we play ancient games in the emulator and record the results for posterity. Now, if you enjoy this sort of thing, please keep watching. Today, we are looking at Worm Burner, which uh, sounds a bit dodgy, but there you go. Released for DOS in 1987. It's an arcade sci-fi futuristic shooter, top-down fixed flip screen, 5 kilobytes of fun five kilobytes how how small is that and and there you have some screenshots so there's not much more to it uh let us go to the game itself you get a wormburn.com and that's it so i had to emulate a rather slow ibm pc with a cga and we shall go for instructions Worm Burner by Andrew Walsh. You are the leader of a squadron of upper atmospheric defenders helping protect Earth in the 23rd century. The principal threat to the Earth's safety is a race of enormous mutant space worms that invaded the solar system during the latter half of the last century. Uh, Earth scientists considered them to be a curiosity for nearly 50 years and studied them closely. They were very interested in their seemingly intelligent utterances. Finally, a great breakthrough was made when one noise was translated loosely. I'm glad we found this place, Herb. The food here beats the heck out of that melange stuff we had last time. Then it was noticed that while the philologists were studying the worms, they had eaten most of Saturn, Jupiter and Mars. Earthlings then realized that they were next on the menu and built a protective grid around the entire planet to protect them from the worms. The grid worked well, but during times of intense worm activity, the grid and its crossing pattern of high-energy lasers had to be supplemented by small squadrons of frightened, oh, sorry, fighters who manned vehicles on the grid to help them fight off the worms. Sure, that's a long sentence. Anyways, tonight is one of those times. There's only room for a single squad of five fighters on the sector of the grid where the worms are expected. The squad chosen to defend that sector will not only have to be wary of the worms, but also of the mutated sections of worm bodies they destroy. The worms change shape before finally dying and falling harmlessly off the grid. In addition, the squadrons must be careful of the crossing lasers of the grid's defense systems. To defend the sector is generally considered to be a suicide mission. Unfortunately for your ex-best friend Rolf, he has been chosen to cover the sector. Fortunately for you, you probably won't have to repay the fairly substantial gambling debts you owe to Rolf from your trip into town last night. However, at the last minute, Rolf has been relieved of his duty to defend the sector, something to do with some rather compromising photos of the Admiral. Rolf has requested that you be his replacement. The cursor keys control the movement of your defenders, and you can fire your weapons by pressing spacebar. Press escape to exit the DOS, any key to continue. So after all that, here you are. And... No. Oh, there we go. So, that's a lot like Centipede in... Oh. And it is a tiny game. I mean, what do you get for five kilobytes these days? Uh, yeah, you can see the lasers doing their thing there. Man. All righty. So, nice little game. Uh, there's not much more to it. No more screens. 
like I said, five, five kilobytes. Man, that is like nothing. Oh, just own goal there. Three more fighters. Surviving, surviving. Of course, what the hell is this? How many worms are you sending at once? Again. Okay, okay, we're getting here. Really? Really? It's not enough concentrating just on the worms. again so worm burner 1987 nice little game to play um colors are of course cga um keys are responsive sounds are are okay yeah all in all not not too shabby not too shabby especially considering this is five kilobytes uh, five kilobytes is, is is really really small you could probably read that source code. Um, it's only a few pages. Anyways, anyways, um, thank you for watching this little video. Uh, hopefully you've liked it and we'll see each other on the next one. But in the meantime, have a fantastic day and uh, goodbye.